How's it going guys, Sharblox here. We are back yet again with another video about Roblox news. Now today's video is all about the new Roblox settings page updates. A couple of you guys have been asking me what the brand new settings options mean. I will also show you guys a mini tutorial on how to activate the Robux refund system. I'm getting so many questions about this, despite already showing it in like two videos I think. So I thought I might as well help some of you guys out. Got some Roblox event news as well. Everything is coming up in today's video. Very quickly, let's talk about the Roblox settings updates. Shout out to Bloxy News. Bloxy News said Roblox has added a new privacy setting called chat filtering level. If your account is under 13, you will be defaulted to under 13 filtering. If your account is over 13, you will be defaulted to over 13 filtering. So you're probably wondering, well, what does this mean? I did a quick check to see if I also got this update. I went over to my Roblox settings. I went over to the privacy tab. And as you guys can see, chat filtering level and I can't change it. It says 13 plus but I can't click on it. I can't change anything. The little question mark icon. All text chat is scanned for language that is appropriate within the Roblox community. This setting controls what you can send and receive while chatting with others on Roblox. So let's say you want to see numbers and stuff. What you guys can do is enable this to 13 plus and let's say you don't want to see numbers in the chat then you can enable this to under 13. Well the thing is I guess it's not exactly working just yet because I can't change it. Bloxy News confirmed why it's not working. Note, there is nothing new or changed with the actual chat filter itself. The drop down menu is currently disabled, meaning you cannot change the filtering level. However, you may be able to change the filtering level in the future. I'll keep you updated. So yes, a brand new option has been added into our Roblox settings. You guys have been asking me about this one, but right now it just doesn't do anything. In other news, there was also another Roblox settings update, but not everyone got this one. Anyway, this tweet is from Fox Casey, and she said, Oh my god, Sharblox, before Roblox updated, I didn't have to verify my age to access voice chat. But when it updated, this popped up. So as we can see, it's inside of the Roblox settings. This actually appears under the birthday tab. So you know when you open up your Roblox settings and you go into account info and it has your birthday, this should actually show below it. And it says verify my age. By clicking verify my age, you will be completing an ID verification process operated by our third party service provider. I'm sure most of you watching the video know exactly what this is. Yep, it's the Veritad sign up for Roblox voice chat. If you see this over in your Roblox settings, I guess you can sign up if you want to. Voice chat isn't out for everyone just yet, but if you want to try and sign up, then go for it. I told you guys at the start of this video that I would show you a mini tutorial about the Robux refunds, because so many of you guys are asking me questions, basically saying, how do you do it? Before I show you guys, take a look at this tweet. This one is from Jiden and Jiden said Sharklocks I got credited for 24 items at once. Look at this that is insane. I wonder how much Robux this guy got. It's even dating back to stuff that got deleted in 2020. That's probably at least like 500 Robux for free. Yeah you guys definitely want to enable this. A lot of you have been asking the same question as Davin. So Davin said Sharklocks what is this I don't understand can you help me? Yes I'm going to show you guys exactly how to accept it and exactly how to get free Robux. Well, I guess it's kind of free. I mean, you're getting a refund anyway. Right, so what you guys want to do is just start off over on your Roblox profile, then go ahead and click on your Roblox messages. Once your message inbox loads in, you want to scroll down and you want to look for the message by Roblox. Now, depending on how many messages you got, you might want to scroll through pages. You might want to go to your last page. Actually, to be fair, it's probably not on the last page, but you guys know what I mean. Just look for this message. If you have purchased something in the past and had it deleted, then and this is what you're looking for and you should have received it. So it says Robux credit pending. Please review and accept the agreement. So what we're going to do guys, we are going to click on agreement. Next, it's going to bring you to this page, Roblox moderated item Robux policy. And all you guys want to do is just click on I agree. Then it's going to say request submitted. Your request has been submitted. Please note that the request return of Robux may take a day or two to process. Please check your account after a few days. Once you've read this, just simply click on close. Go ahead and go back to your Roblox profile. And now it's a waiting game. What you guys have to do is wait one or two days and hopefully you should notice some Robux come back into your Roblox account. Now for me, there is no chance that I'm going to notice any Robux coming back. Weird flex, but okay. So yeah, for me, I can't really tell. Oh, but you will get a message. So you will be able to go over to your Robux message inbox again and it should say that you got a refund and that kind of stuff. So there you go. Many of you guys have been asking me about this. So I just just 
wanted to explain it. Let's move on to some other news topics. Right here, I have some news about a project that a guy called JMK Dev is working on, and he posted a very interesting screenshot. As we can see, it's Minecraft. He's got like the Minecraft server tab open, and it says play with Roblox, and then it hosts a Roblox game. Now, when I saw this screenshot, I was like, what is that? JMK Dev is well known for releasing these kind of like unique Roblox plugins. This was the guy that got guests working in 2021 as well. However, he never actually released that to the public. Anyway, I said, this looks really cool. How does it work? Roblox on Minecraft? JMK replied to me and said, I've been working on this for months now. It allows cross-platform play between Roblox and Minecraft. It only supports version 1.12.2 at the moment, but it's still really fun. I said, oh my God, that's insane. How did you even make that? Is it open to testing already? JMK said, not yet, but soon. I'm trying to balance working on this and a million other projects, but I'd estimate it being done in the next couple of days. And that was yesterday at the time of recording this video. Yeah, I know this thing seems kind of crazy. It seems insane. Cross-platform between Roblox and Minecraft. How is that even possible? When this gets released, I'm definitely going to make a video on it. Got some mini news topics for you guys. I might as well just show you guys these ones quickly. This one right here is from Bloxy News. And they say clouds are receiving some technical improvements, including improved self-shadowing and enhanced detail of how light interacts with the clouds. These changes will be rolling out next week. And they also left a link for more information. So yeah, there you go. Roblox is improving clouds yet again. I also have a mini Roblox mobile update to show you guys. Now, the thing is, I can't remember if I added this into my last video or not. Maybe I didn't. Honestly, I can't remember. I'm just going to show it in this video as well. This one is from It's Farley over on Twitter. And he says, Sharp Blocks, new mobile features. I, I brought a new item and now it has an icon on the category of the item. Oh, okay. Maybe I haven't shown this in a video before. Fair enough. That's quite a nice update. So if you go over to the avatar shop, if you purchase something. So Farley here purchased a neck accessory. And as we can see, it highlights where the brand new accessory is. I don't know if this highlights event items. So like all items that you recently received. But if he goes into clothing and neck accessories, the icon will disappear and he can find his new item. Not the most amazing update in the world, but small updates just like this one that don't break anything. They add a new feature and that's good in my books. Got some more news for you guys. This one is a tweet from Ruben Sim and oh no, it looks like it's more Roblox voice chat drama. However, this one is kind of funny. Ruben Sim said, Roblox mods are pathetic. This guy could be banning a laundry list of known dodgy people. I can't say that on my channel, otherwise demonetized off the platform, but instead he hopelessly targets me because he thinks I'm not funny. Wait, so what? What's going on here? It looks like a developer inside of the game was talking to other players about Ruben Sim's ban. Yeah, I guess we can check this out. Right, so this guy said we perma banned him across all his accounts and to get him banned from Discord, he is really, really bad. This. All oh, right, he's trying to say Discord. Wait, what? A Roblox admin saying Discord? Bruh, that's against the rules. Then he said everything banned. He's not very funny. Right. Yeah, I guess that isn't really a reason to ban someone from Roblox. He could have just said that Ruben Sim was swearing in voice chat. You can't just say you banned someone because they weren't very funny. Like, that's just a bit weird. I can understand why Ruben Sim got banned for swearing a lot, but they banned all of his accounts and they tried to get him banned from Discord as well. That seems a little bit too extreme for me. Clearly, Roblox don't seem to like this guy very much. Let's check out some other news anyway. Oh, I've got some event news for you guys. Tweet here from Lulu5239, aka the Roblox YouTuber stalker, and he said, Sharkblocks, do you think I'll be in Roblox battles? Spoiler, that was in the Bakugan event. Oh, wow. So he actually caught them filming an episode of Roblox Battles because yeah if you guys didn't know Roblox Battles is pre-recorded I believe until the last fight and then they have to live stream it but yeah let's take a look at this anyway we have Sabrina Bright she is one of the hosts as we can see she has her sword we have DJ Monopoly which is also one of the hosts this guy has got his green sword we've got Russo Plays pretty good YouTuber he's got the blue sword again all of these three are hosts of the event then we have Sketch versus someone called Boo Breezy. Now, I don't know who Boo Breezy is, but clearly he's in the Stars program. And where is Sketch's star logo? Is Sketch using a different account? Yeah, I guess that's possible. So yep, there you go. Roblox Battles Season 3 is coming very soon. I have a couple of extra news topics before we finish today's video. Bloxy News also said, introducing the Roblox Open Cloud, a new secure and flexible platform that allows you to access your Roblox resources, assets, places, player data, etc. Through standardized web
web APIs. Uh, there's more about it. Uh, there's more that there is more information about this over on the Roblox developer forum. You can publish your places onto the cloud basically to keep them safe. You know, like Google Drive, Apple Cloud software. What's it called? Oh, iCloud. That's it. Yeah, it's basically like the Roblox version of that. But currently it's only open to developers. A little bit of more news. This one is from Roblox RTC. Roblox will soon add a new topic to the homepage called hubs via Roblox trackers. So what is this? Why would they add something to the homepage called hubs? Do they mean like game hubs? Like the metaverse champions hub, like for example, like stuff like that. Honestly, guys, I don't know. This one's kind of weird. We also had some Roblox YouTuber news. Fruitcraft said, my 21 pilots concert video just got blocked worldwide as well. Looks to be the same for a bunch of other creators. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not surprised that this got blocked. It contains 21 pilots music. You won't get a strike or anything like that on your channel. Just all the effort that went into making the video kind of goes down the drain because the video is blocked and no one can watch it and you can't make money from it. Roblox should have sorted this out for star creators, but honestly, just use no copyright music in the future. I know that Creekcraft wanted to live stream the event over on his channel. So yeah, hopefully Roblox can fix this for him. I know the event is finished. Maybe people have stopped watching the videos anyway, to be fair. But there you go, guys. That is it for today's episode of Roblox News. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.